A guy needs to protect himself. I had to be sure you're safe. And your name was a glorious place to start. Not a lot of Guinevere Becks. And there you were. Every account set to public, you want to be seen, heard, known. Of course, I obliged. Born and raised in Nantucket Island, a brother Clyde and sister Anya, your parents really were assholes about the names. Your folks split when you were 12. Your dad dropped out of the picture. Went to Brown, where you majored in lit. Cool, and minored in douchebags. Mm. And then on to NYC to conquer an MFA and make your mark, presumably. Now you still write, barely. Too busy living out moments you won't remember five years from now. I know this because you post about this life all the goddamn time. Candidly, it's the least appealing thing about you, Beck. You posted this hours after our encounter. I was concerned. You didn't mention that cute guy in the bookstore. And then I realized your online life isn't real. It's a, it's a collage. You pasted this back up, this uh, together, lovable, cute, bendy little creature. If anything, the fact that you didn't share me with your followers only confirms we really connected. The next thing our little friend the internet gave me was your address. There it is, with its big, naked windows. It's nice, too nice. I'm thinking subsidized school housing. Jesus, it's like you've never seen a horror movie or the news. But you want people to watch, don't you? You know, I plan on asking you about this quality when we get to know each other better. A proposal. Why don't we spend the day together tomorrow? Just you and me. To everyone out there chasing their dreams, don't give up. And in the meantime, mac and cheese. It's cute. Not deep, but cute. Is there more to you? Let's find out.